Hi, my name is Hector Garcia. I'm a CPA and an advanced QuickBooks Pro advisor. Um, Microsoft Excel is one of those pieces of software that I absolutely love and use almost every day. And uh, I've always wanted to create uh, an Excel training course or, or video course, but I never really had the time to. Now, my friend, Norman Axelman, uh, who now teaches Excel for, um, for our company down here in Miami, uh, we contract him to teach. We do the QuickBooks classes. He does the Excel classes. Created a video series, which um, is being sold in my platform for $147. There are 15 succinct lessons. And I'm going to show you a preview of one of the lessons in this video, which is how to do text to columns and do data cleanup using the right and left formulas. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Advantage Computer Solutions video training series for Microsoft Excel session number six. In this session, you will learn how to manipulate data, specifically how to split up information from one cell to multiple cells or one column to multiple columns, how to do that with a feature and also with a pretty neat formula. So let's get right into it. We have a standard spreadsheet here name, address, city, state, and zip. And the names are first and last name together in one cell, but the boss wants the names separated into different cells. Well, you may have a list of 5,000 names and it's four o'clock on a Friday afternoon on a holiday weekend, and you do not want to spend the next six hours in the office getting this list ready. So copying and pasting or cutting and pasting or selecting, it's not gonna work we're going to use a feature to split up the names for you in just a matter of seconds. And here's how it works. First of all, you need to insert a column so you have a place for the last name once they are split up. Next, using Shift and Down, as we learned in an earlier session, we're going to select all the names that you want to work with. Again, there could be thousands of them. From the menu on top, you're going to click on Data down and slightly to the right there's an option called text to columns we're going to click on that it's exactly what we want to do we want to split up text into columns there are two ways of splitting up information delimited and fixed width fixed width is good if you have the same number of characters with the same width in every cell and you can draw a line between them and split them up and that almost never happens it can be useful but it's rare so we're not going to focus on that Delimited means there's a character, such as a comma or a space, or maybe a colon, that you can focus on in each cell that's common to each cell. And we use that as a delimiter, a character which can be used to split up the information. So we're going to click on Next. There are certain default settings already for delimiter characters. Tab doesn't exist. You can uncheck that. It's not going to really matter. There's no such thing as a tab. I'm not sure what it's doing there. And we're going to choose the option for space because there's a space in every person's name. You can already see in the data preview what's going to happen when we click finish. It will split up the names first and last name, exactly what you needed to do. And you can get it done in just a matter of seconds instead of hours. Let's look at another example where we have last name, comma, and then first name. Again, you need to split up the names first and last name and you don't want to spend hours doing it. So we're going to insert a column to give ourselves a place to put the last names. And now we're going to select all of the cells going down. Again, could be thousands. We're going to choose data from the menu and then text to columns. Delimited is our choice, so we're going to click on next. In this case though, instead of a space, we're going to uncheck that box we're going to check the box for comma. Again, you can see in the data preview what will happen. We're going to click the finish button and you have first and last name separate. We can do the same thing with other types of information as well. Here we have a list of parts, description, uh, reference number, quantity. And in this case, you have a part number and some of the part numbers have a suffix separated with a dash, a hyphen. And in order to compare this list maybe with another list that you have, 
you need to separate the parts away from the hyphen because they're not used in the other list, let's say. Again, we can use our text to columns feature. Simply insert a column to give ourselves a place to put the new information. Select all the cells which have the data, in this case the part numbers. Once again, we choose data and then text the columns. Delimited, because there's a character that we want to focus on, and choose next. Now in this case, we're going to take away the comma option and choose the box that says other. And we're going to put a dash in there. Click finish and you have separated the part numbers. This is one way to separate information and you can use it to get all of your work done in a matter of seconds again instead of hours. So now in our list of names we've separated the names and maybe it's 4 10 in the afternoon and you're ready to go home and the box excuse me yes well okay maybe not the boss decided that he wants one more change done with all these thousands of records you'll note that the state and the zip code is together in one cell and now you need to separate the state from the zip code because the zip code has to be separate from the state again you don't want to spend hours doing it and if you try to use text to columns you'll find it won't work because there is no delimiter there's no space there's no comma there's no dash and if the width is not the same which in this case it is but in many lists it won't be then you won't be able to use text to columns so now what do you do we're going to split the information using a formula and the formula works like this equals and the word right r-i-g-h-t open parentheses we're now going to select the cell that we want to get the data from and put a comma this formula tells me to give the rightmost characters of the cell to the left which is f2 comma means how many how many characters from the right of that cell do i want i want five five characters from the right is the zip code now i can just copy it down and presto i have all my zip codes separated let's do that one more time equals and the word right r-i-g-h-t parentheses just like any other formula like equals sum parentheses give me the rightmost characters from cell f2 comma how many five because the zip code is always five digits close parentheses and press enter and copy it down and you have all your zip codes separate again doing work in a matter of seconds instead of hours let's look at just one more example it's the same list with the same states and zip codes and I'm going to type in the formula equals right and I'm going to do again in this case e2 comma 5 and copy it down and you can see there's a problem it doesn't work some of the zip codes are only three and some something is seriously wrong with this and what is wrong with this is that the state and zip code column e really is not consistent if i use the f2 key my edit key i'll notice that there are an extra two spaces after the zip code in that cell some of the zip codes have the spaces some don't and this is real life this happens so if you apply a formula like equals right in the cell comma five you'll get wrong information and that doesn't help anybody so how do we fix this there is another function called equals trim which trims unnecessary characters out of a cell so we can use equals trim e2 that's all we need and that will take off the extra spaces that were not necessary from that cell copy it down now all of these cells don't have extra spaces and now we have to do a copy paste special values now that i have fixed the original cells and trimmed off the extra spaces my equals right formula will work perfectly and now i can copy it down and all my work is done in the next session you will learn how to put information together that was in different cells into one cell 
and also learn some pretty powerful uses for find and replace feature. So until next time, and remember, if you want to get ahead, get the advantage. And that's it. If you want to know more information about uh, the video series that we have for sale, just go to quickbooksacademy.com. I put the domain name down here, www.quickbooksacademy.com. That will take you to my site where I have both my QuickBooks and Excel classes for sale. Uh, there's another uh, uh, little lesson for preview that you can watch there. And of course, if you want to purchase it, you'll purchase it through the website. Thanks for watching.